Greetings viewers, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna try to control my rage and my blood pressure uh, to get this little bit of a buyer's beware out to you guys. Uh, you might not have seen, or you have maybe seen in community posts and some Instagram posts, talking about the difficulties I've had with a certain company on trying to get the parts I needed for the sandbar. That's why we haven't seen any videos on the sandbar since I purchased it back in July. I know I said I was gonna do uh, some repair videos, some DIY repair videos on uh, say the rocker cover gasket, uh, setting the valve, doing a valve adjustment, uh, time belt replacement, camshaft seal, crankshaft seal, uh, things of that nature, ignition tune up, all of that. Well, I've been trying to get the parts in and man, has it been one more ordeal. So. Back August 11th, I contacted Right Drive Auto in Canada. I uh, actually picked up the phone and called them and gave them all the parts I was looking for to make sure they had standing inventory in stock before placing the order online uh, to make sure I could get the parts to me quickly uh, to do the video start on the repair series. So called in, talked to the guy in the parts department for them. He ran around with me on the phone, put his hands on all the parts, said, yep, I've got them all here. Uh, so if you wanna go ahead and place your order, that's fine. So got off the phone with him while I was on the computer at the website, got everything clicked in the basket, paid and sat and wait. And I waited and I waited some more. After about two weeks, I called back to see what the deal was since, you know, I'd called and they said everything was in stock. I'm like, well, why have you not shipped my order yet? Uh, they gave me some song and dance uh, waiting for, I can't remember now, the water pump or something. One item they said they didn't have. Okay, cool, whatever. Waited, waited, waited. You know when I finally get the order in? It was October. It was like the second week of October. I placed the order August 11th. I got it in October. Open up the box and what do I see? Well, I see this, as you see on the screen now. Aftermarket parts. I had specifically ordered Subaru Genuine Parts. All of you guys know me. You know that I only use Subaru Genuine Parts. I don't put aftermarket parts on my vehicles. And the sandbar is gonna be no exception to the rule. So, called back in, trying not to have an aneurysm at my rage after waiting from August to October just to receive the wrong parts. And uh, they gave me some song and dance, so we're sorry we now see that you did order the factory genuine Subaru parts rather than the aftermarket parts we sent you. And you paid extra for the fact that you were getting genuine parts. Uh, let us correct that. We'll contact Japan right now, have your parts sent overnight to us, and then we'll overnight them to you with a prepaid shipping label so you can send the incorrect parts back to us. You should see them in about 10 business days. Keep in mind, this was the second week of October, I believe around the 12th. So I waited and I waited. Then 10 days passed, then 15 called back. What is the deal? You told me 10 days. More song and dance, more BS, uh, more of, oh, uh, well, because of you know what going around and because of everything else, we're not getting orders from Japan and it's taking forever, yada, yada, yada. I said, well, I know that's a bunch of bull because I just ordered uh, two shipments of tools from Amazon Japan and had them in my hands in three days. So don't give me that. Uh, so more beating around the bush. I got PayPal involved because I paid with PayPal, trying to get my money back at this point because I was just done with it and over it. And, uh, Finally, in December, I believe it was December 14th or 15th, the parts finally showed up and uh, I thought I was all good and done with it and I thought it was all over, but I opened up the water pump and I didn't even have a water pump gasket. And uh, they've yet to send me one, so I said the heck with it and reached out to uh, some other sandbar owners on Instagram, the main one being Sammy the Sandbar. I'll put the username here. Go give him a follow on Instagram. Check his account out, Sammy the Sandbar. He is a great source for parts for sandbars. He uh, buys them, imports them, and sells them on eBay. I looked up and found a timing belt water pump kit. Uh, he was selling for a sandbar, 
and ended up buying it as well just to get the gasket. Uh, it wasn't a genuine Subaru water pump, it was an Ison, but as we talked about before, I'm totally fine with Ison water pumps. Uh, so I bought that whole time belt kit for I think $160 on eBay just to get the time and belt, uh, the, not the time, the water pump gasket. Uh, but I had it in a matter of a few days and he was nice enough to throw me a rocker cover gasket in as well uh, that he happened to have on hand. So really quickly, let's look at what I got from Right Drive in Kanakistan. <laughs> I'm just joking Canadian viewers, it's just a joke. So I got my Subaru Genuine water pump without a gasket. We've got our NGK spark plug wires, ignition wires. No, I did not get Subaru Genuine. They use NGK components for their ignition system, so these are perfectly fine. We got a Subaru Genuine distributor cap. We got a Subaru Genuine rotor button for the distributor. We got a Subaru Genuine thermostat with gasket. And we also got our Subaru Genuine timing belt. Yes, it's hysterically small, being uh, it's a 660cc engine. So that there was 580 bucks Canadian, something like that. So like 270 in real money. <laughs> Again, Canadians joke, joking. Uh, so that took four dago months to get, and nearly cost me a couple heart attacks, maybe a stroke due to the blood pressure increase it caused along the way. So this was about 160 bucks if I recall correctly from Sammy the Sambar on eBay. And uh, as I said, he threw me in a rocker cover gasket, greatly appreciated because our rocker cover is leaking and we do need to do a valve adjustment. I have a Subaru Genuine timing belt tensioner. That was one thing that they didn't even offer from Right Drive Auto was a genuine tensioner. They had aftermarket ones, which I'm not interested in. The genuine here, like most other components from Subaru, it is a Japanese Koyo tensioner. So I got the rocker cover gasket. I got the tensioner. Uh, this is an aftermarket rocker cover gasket. This is not a genuine, but if it'll focus, it is made in Japan. So I'm good enough with that. We've got our Subaru genuine cam and crank seals, which I needed as well because the cam seal I have looked and it is leaking. Uh, he sent me this neat little Japanese, I think it's a cup holder. Yeah, it says big can here, so it's a cup holder. I believe there's actually a sticker inside. I just now noticed that. I need to open that up and check that out. Uh, another sandbar timing belt, so I've got a spare. This is not a Subaru Genuine belt. I don't believe, I think he said it was, but it's not marked as such. The one I have is marked Subaru. Uh, it does say made in Japan, so I assume it might be uh, similar to with uh, EJ series engines, how we have Subaru Mark timing belts and we have Mitsubishi timing belts and the Subaru Mark timing belts are Mitsubishi belts. So this might be a actual genuine belt, just an unmarked one from an aftermarket supplier that Subaru uses. And then we've got our Ison water pump with gasket. So honestly, I should have contacted Sammy first and uh, went with that. I keep saying Sammy, his name's not Sammy. Uh, the, the truck's name's Sammy, but uh, just so we keep anonymity here on the internet, uh, you know, check him out again, like I said, on Instagram. So yeah, had I known, I would've gone straight to the source and purchased this from him and not had to deal with the headache that was Right Drive Auto. So the whole purpose of this video, one, update you guys on the sandbar to show you that I've got parts and we're about to start working on this thing and you are gonna see some videos finally on repair of this car uh, truck. Uh, but two was a advisory to all of you out there looking for sandbar parts. All of you that have looked at buying these trucks since I bought mine. One, parts are a little aggravating to find. You can find them uh, very easily if you want aftermarket parts. If you want genuine Subaru parts, it's a lot more difficult of a task, as you have clearly seen in my case. Uh, but two, uh, this is a buyer beware. I'm just showing you what happened between me and Right Drive Auto and the four month freaking ordeal to get parts and to not even get everything. And for the price I paid from them compared to the price I paid 
from someone here in the state. So never, uh, you know, shop around, never discount anything. I found a couple other places before I decided to go off right drive, uh, but they were selling aftermarket parts as well. Uh, genuine Japanese, I can get straight from Japan. Uh, I think it was Yokohama Motors, but their shipping costs are exorbitant. Exorbitant. I can't even say the word while I'm saying it. They're really high. Let me uh, take it back down to where I'm from here in South Carolina. Let me use them as smaller words. Uh, so yeah, I know this is not my typical video and I'm not in typical form here on camera, but again, I'm getting a little hot under the collar just thinking about how long and how frustrating and aggravating this ordeal was just to get parts for the sandbar. Uh, so I do have more places in the future to get parts from now. Hopefully I won't have this big of an issue in the future. Uh, again, it's just something for you guys that either have sandbars looking to purchase them. You know, keep this in mind that you can't just go down to your local advanced auto part. You can't go down to your local AutoZone or Riley's. You can't go to your local Subaru dealership and just ask for parts for these things being an import only vehicle. You have to import these parts or you have to find someone that imports and resells them. Uh, that said, there are like this many or this many parts for that truck you can actually buy at your local Subaru dealership. One is the oil filter. Uh, the oil filter for the sandbar is shared with the Subaru Justy. Most Subaru dealerships can still get it or have it in stock. Uh, and I believe the spark plugs uh, are interchangeable. Uh, well, not interchangeable with actually other Subaru models. I don't think they use the Denso NGK uh, plugs that are in the vehicle, but you can go to your local parts house and get the plugs for it. Now, fuel filters, air filters, things like that, even the belts, not as easy to come by. So you got to keep that stuff in mind. Again, like I said, if you're planning to buy one of these or have one of these, that they can be a little bit aggravating to keep up if you want to keep the good parts on them and not like off-brand Chinese, Taiwanese parts. So anyway, thanks guys for watching. I know it was a short rant of a video kind of thing. Uh, just to let you know, I was actually planning to film this week on the sandbar. I plan still to film and hopefully have you a video out by Sunday. Uh, the problem is I found a kitty cat <laughs> when I got to the farm Monday, uh, which was yesterday, today's Tuesday to film. I found an orange boy cat that apparently someone dumped out on the highway in front of my farm cause people are horrible. And, um, he was hungry, fed him. And uh, he's just been all over me. I'll put some clips in of him. You gonna fix it for me? Huh? You wanna change the timing belt? Yeah? You timing belt changing kitty? Is that what you're here for? Uh, but... I can't get any work done with him. He's going to be all over me and all between the camera. And I know you guys are here to see uh, repair videos, not cute kitty cat. So uh, hopefully I can get him into the veterinarian, make sure he doesn't have FIV or any other conditions, make sure he gets his shots and try to get him accompanied to or acquainted with my cats I already have at the house. Uh, so there's no knockdown, drag out cat fights. <laughs> Uh, and I can get him away from the farm uh, where I can actually start filming videos without him rubbing all over me. So again, I know this video is all over. Thanks for sticking with me if you have stuck with me this far. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Sandbar videos are on the way. Hopefully, like I said, I'll have one for you Sunday and uh, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.